Hey guys, this is Chris with CP Attic, and today we're going to be doing one of the AC mod installs on my personal F350 Power Stroke. Um, what this thing does is it actually blocks the coolant flow from the heater core, and it allows the, the AC to get colder because you don't have that heater core being heated up the entire time you're running your, your AC on max. Um, it really helps in those real hot days, especially if you live in an area that gets you know, that gets pretty warm, 100 plus, it's really gonna help uh, reduce those AC temperatures inside the cab. So this AC mod, what, uh, it's actually a thing that Ford started doing in 04. The coolant lines run more here over the top of the valve cover in those trucks. So if you've ever owned one or know somebody that has one, you can see that valve that sits here that's vacuum controlled. That's actually what that is, is it's a uh, AC mod, whatever, it's, a, uh, it's the coolant control for the, for the heater core. It blocks the coolant flow and allows the, uh, the AC to get colder. Um, so I, I think it, it's, it's, such a, it's such a simple install. Um, this may be something that, that you've looked at and, and gone, you know, that, that's way too much work or you don't really know how to do it. So that's the reason why we, we set out today to show you just how easy it is. You really just need a, a flat blade screwdriver or an eight millimeter socket and, uh, you know, a pocket knife, razor blade, something like that. So. Let's get to it. So what this kit consists of, uh, I've got it all kind of here on the front bumper, but is a, a vacuum controlled actuator that, uh, that blocks the, it blocks the, uh, the coolant flow once you've turned the, uh, the AC to max AC. And um, it's, it's just a super simple flat valve um, that, uh, that we're gonna put in line on the, on the inlet side of the, of the heater core here. And that's going to be the line that runs from the front of the passenger cylinder head to the heater core. And then your return is coming from the heater core going to on top of the water pump. You, um, you've also got in this kit, you've got uh, about two feet of eighth inch vacuum line, um, which is going to be in this little bag like this. And it's just real simple, nothing special to it, just some vacuum line. And then an eighth inch T to tie into the factory vacuum line that Ford has on the, uh, the air recirculator vacuum actuator here. So that's gonna be this line here that uh, looks like somebody has already modified at some point or another because these vacuum lines are really prone to getting brittle over the years. Um, probably had that problem with my truck sometime in its past and somebody has modified it with some vacuum line. Uh, we're actually going to kind of clean this up too. They they left a ton of extra line. I'm going to cut some of it out and shorten it. And then of course, just two stainless steel hose clamps, five eighths hose clamps to go over the hose once we cut it, put the actuator in place. So we'll get started first with um, with cutting the actual inlet. Uh, and I like to and grab that actuator real quick. I like to actually uh, kind of position it where I would think it would need to go. On this actuator, you'll actually see the, the flow arrow, so you're gonna make sure that you put it in line so that the flow from the head is, is uh, that direction. So I like to position this where I know it's gonna be kind of snug down in there. It's not gonna be you know sitting up top and hitting on the, the pad of the, uh, if your truck even still has it, but hitting on the insulation here. Um, so I'm gonna put it somewhere right about here. I'm just gonna just kind of make a little mark in the hose where I know where to, where to cut it and then take my razor blade here and cut the hose. Might get a little bit of a block on this just because of how I have to cut it from the camera's angle. All right, you can do that with pretty much anything, a pocket knife, a pair of snips, or I just had a razor blade handy, so that's what we used. Um, take these two hose clamps. I'm going to slide them on first. So we're just going to flip that around. Flip it around where it's that direction. And we're going to slide this on. Slide this one on. Make sure that our actuator is directioned correctly there so that it fits down in there. And then we'll just tighten these clamps down. Now when you set that back down in there, that was loud. Now when you set that back down in there, these things aren't gonna rub. 
so that you're not going to have any kind of chafing of the hose. All right, same thing. You're just going to take your little razor blade here, and typically this little white hose that's here, I don't know if you can see that in this picture here or not, but this little white vacuum line here, typically it runs all the way to, this, uh, to the recirculator actuator. But uh, like I say, these things get super, super brittle over the years, and most of the time they've been repaired already, like mine has. Um, you're just gonna, you're just gonna want to uh, to run this this vacuum line from the actuator here, which is just gonna, and it should be a snug fit. So, just, I know that you probably couldn't see me slide that on there because of how I had to hold my hands. But basically, you're just gonna slide that vacuum hose onto the little nipple on the end of the uh, the actuator head there and then you're not going to need all this hose uh, per se we just give you enough so that if you do have to repair your little white vacuum hose you've got the extra since mine's been repaired i'm going to cut most of it off you're only going to need just a i don't know six eight inches at max um, so i'm just gonna like just pick a little bit of length here and cut the rest of the hose off This, uh, this vacuum tee uh, that comes in the kit, you just, you just kind of work it on there as well. Like I say, it's gonna be a snug fit. You need it to be a snug fit so that you don't lose vacuum. Just kind of slide it down on there like that. And then, all right, so my truck, since, I, uh, since it's been modified, we got all this extra, let's cut some of this extra out. This thing's just gonna need to kind of come down here and tie into this this hose like somewhere right in here so we'll cut this line here uh, just cut it off clean that up a little bit yeah. all right and then you're gonna tie the one side into into the vacuum line And then you'll take the, I'm gonna take this other side here and since I got a bunch of extra, so I got a bunch of extra here, I'm just gonna kind of figure out how much I need to cut off. You know, we don't, we can leave a little extra, but eight inches is a little much. That's what she said. All right, we'll just cut that extra out. Get rid of it. And then hook this other side in just like it was. So the T, in, a, in other words, the T here is just going to be so that you can jump this other actuator in line. You wanna be careful with this T, it's small. If you get to twist it on it too much, you can break it. It's, you know, it's not a brass T, it's plastic. All right, that's, uh, that's it. This is the entire install. Um, it's just that simple, there's nothing to it. It literally, it literally takes longer to get all your, your stuff together than it does to actually do the install. All right, I just wanted to give you a visual representation of what's actually going on. This, this little diaphragm here, this, this uh, little arm is actually gonna be pulled in and it's gonna shut the flat valve inside this, uh, inside the valve itself. All right, would you uh, care, would you turn it on? You can actually watch it close when it pulls vacuum on it. So that actually is shutting off the coolant flow. So when he turns to max AC, that's actually shutting off the coolant flow from the engine cylinder head to the heater core itself. You can also see that happen here on the recirculator valve. Um, Carrie, would you turn it back to norm AC? You can actually see that thing open back up there and you're pulling from, you're pulling exterior air at that point. So you're not actually recirculating the air. That's really the only difference that there was on these trucks from the factory, uh, from Norm AC to Max AC. So basically Max AC just meant that you're recirculating air. Nowadays you have a button, that's what the Max AC does now. Um, just for uh, grins and giggles, let's do that one more time and go back. And you can kind of see it pull closed. All right guys, thank you for watching our video. Um, if, you, uh, if you're looking for this product, you can find it on cpattic.com. We, uh, we carry numerous parts for the 92 to 97 body style, for the 87 to 91 body style. We, we actually go all the way back to 67 for all Ford pickups and Broncos. We're constantly adding new products, so definitely check the website out. 
If you have any comments on this video or you have any other uh, parts that you're having trouble installing that you'd like to see us do videos on, definitely leave us comments in the comment section or send us an email at contact at cpattic.com. We'll be glad to help you with anything we can. Thank you.